This video shows how advanced setup of sophisticated devices is made easy using software or handheld based on EDDL. You will see how graphics makes setup easier, device manufacturer expert help and know-how, how wizard guides the user and how conditionals simplifies setup when complex dependencies exist between parameters. A guided view radar level transmitter is a good example of a sophisticated device requiring advanced setup. All the graphics and wizards are created by the device manufacturer using EDDL in order to make the transmitter easy to use. This makes sense because the device manufacturer knows the device best. As you can see, as it arrive on site, it is set up to measure level of a single liquid as also illustrated by the image. Let's set it up to measure the interface between two liquids such as oil and water. We select product level and interface. The audit trail function prompts for service reason. Notice how the image changed to reflect that the transmitter is now set to measure the interface between two stratified liquids. The text box to enter lower product dial trick was enabled too. That is, the user is only prompted for information when required based on prior selection. Irrelevant fields remain hidden to not clutter the display or confuse the user. This conditional logic in EDDL makes setup easy. We enter other process data. Next, we enter tank height. To also measure volume, we need to configure tank properties. As volume calculation is initially switched off, the text boxes for tank dimensions are disabled. As we select volume calculation for a simple vertical cylinder, the text boxes for tank dimensions are enabled. Again, the user is only prompted for information when required based on prior selection. We enter the tank dimensions. Next, we proceed with echo analysis and tuning. The echo peaks found in the tank are listed as reference, surface and interface as well as unknown false echoes from disturbing objects as an easy to read table with position and signal amplitude data for easy cross referencing against obstacles in the tank. Various signal amplitude thresholds are used in order to separate the measurement signal from disturbing echoes and noise. The measure and learn wizard activates the function inside the transmitter which automatically detects the echo curve and fits the amplitude threshold curve. The wizard guides the commissioning technician through the process step by step. The wizard is designed by the device manufacturer to ensure steps are done in the right sequence and that steps are not missed. The technician only needs to respond to simple prompts and has the option to abort at any point. The wizard prompts the technician to inform operations to put the control loop in manual as the automatic tuning function will change the output which will bump the process which is not desirable. Once the transmitter has finished the automatic echo tuning, the wizard then prompts the technician to inform operations that the loop can be returned to automatic control. Wizards make setup easy. Let's analyze the echoes and thresholds. We click on echo curve. The time it takes to load the echo curve depends on how many points resolution the transmitter captures for the curve, the communication protocol used and the communication time slot allocated for non-real time functions like setup. During automatic processes, the wizard constantly keeps the technician updated on the progress as each step completes. In this echo curve graph, EDDL shows 7 waveforms at the same time, each one identified with a different color. That is, the echo curve here in black and amplitude threshold such as the surface threshold here in blue, interface threshold here in purple and the reference threshold here in green are viewed together making setup easy. The device manufacturer's expert has through EDDL provided an image that further clarifies the waveform color codes and how they relate to each other making setup easy. The device manufacturer also uses EDDL to provide context sensitive help for every parameter, wizard and status indicator. Let's check the help for the automatic surface threshold function. First we click on the help button and then on the parameter in question. The text from the manufacturer's expert appears as a tooltip bubble. There is no need to look for the manual or trying to find the right page. The help text makes setup easy. Next, we need to select what the primary variable shall be. So we click basic setup and select upper product volume. Again the wizard reminds the technician to tell operations to put the control loop in manual. Lastly, a function check. We click on process variables to monitor the measurement. The volume reading is responding. To see the level readings, we click on all variables. We can see the interface level and distance to the interface change. The image provided by the transmitter manufacturer illustrates how level and distance is related. 
Although not commonly used, let's set up some other transmitter functions that demonstrate EDDL capability. To configure a tank strapping table, we click on setup and then volume. Since we earlier configured volume calculation based on a standard vertical cylinder, the fields for tank diameter and height are enabled, while access to the strapping table is disabled because it is not applicable based on this selection. We select volume calculation based on strapping table. Note that the fields for tank diameter and height are no longer enabled because it is not applicable based on this selection, while access to the strapping table is now enabled. That is, the user is guided to only enter the relevant information, no more and no less. We click to open the strapping table. Let's say we want to enter 12 points. We proceed to enter the level and volume points one by one, which is made easy by presentation in an Excel-like spreadsheet format. Just like a cooking show, let's jump ahead in time. We complete the last point of the tank strapping table. We accept the changes. To configure a custom probe length, we click on tank. The original probe setting is a manufacturer standard rigid twin for which no detailed settings are required. Therefore, all custom fields are disabled based on this selection. Clutter is thus minimized. We select user defined probe. Based on this new selection, the device requires more information and therefore several fields are now enabled such that technician can enter the additional data. Because radar level transmitters are commissioned in the field, you may be wondering if advanced setup is possible from a portable handheld field communicator. The answer is yes. Keep in mind that his screen is only x centimeter or y inches across. In the interest of time, we will spare you the simple parameter setting and jump ahead in time straight to echo tuning to see advanced wizards and graphics. We click until we reach the table with found echo peaks and adjust the columns for easier reading on the small display. Tables also work on a portable, the information is the same as on a computer. Next we make our way to the measure and learn wizard. Did you notice how the wizard prompts guiding the user are exactly the same as seen on the computer? This is because they come from the device manufacturer's expert through the EDDL file, not from the software or handheld. Wizards also work on a portable. Next, we make our way to Echo Curve. In the interest of time, we will spare you the reading time and jump ahead in time. The portable has, has the ability to show multiple waveforms simultaneously. Currently, it is the Echo Curve waveform which is emphasized as a strong black, while the other waveforms are a lighter gray. To find the waveform of interest in a graph, we pick the waveform we want to highlight. Surface threshold is horizontal at 0 millivolts. Upper null zone is vertical at 0 meters. Zero reference is vertical at 0.9 meters. Interface threshold is horizontal at 1800 millivolts. And reference threshold is horizontal at minus 5400 millivolts. Waveforms graphs also work on a portable. The information is the same as on a computer. Let's check the help for the automatic surface threshold function. First we select the parameter in question. Then we click on the help button. The text from the manufacturer's expert appears. Did you notice the help text is exactly the same as seen on the computer? This is because it comes from the device manufacturer's expert through the EDDL file, not from the software or handheld. Help also works on a portable. Let's look at the strapping table. We find the transmitter configured for ideal vertical cylinder, so the diameter and height is shown. We go through the process of changing to a strapping table. Notice how diameter and height no longer appears, but strapping table appears instead. Conditional handling of parameter dependencies also works on a portable. We proceed to edit the strapping table. It appears as table and is edited point by point. Editing large parameter sets in a table format works on a portable. The information is the same as on a computer. You have seen graphs with multiple waveforms, excel like tables, wizards, device manufacturer expert help and guidance and conditionals for images and parameters with dependencies. Use EDDL to simplify intelligent device management. Visit www.eddl.org for more information.